located five miles east of the Rio Grande, situated on more than 52,000 acres in Albuquerque, lies the heart of the nation's nuclear research and development. Going back to 1941, starting with uh, bomber aircraft training for our crews uh, during the European and Pacific campaigns, uh, we, uh, we have built a, uh, a legacy of research and development in the nuclear enterprise, and we see that continuing on into the future. For 75 years, Kirtland Air Force Base has been one of the largest and most consistent residents of New Mexico. The base started in 1929 as the privately owned Albuquerque Airport, which later became Oxnard Field. The U.S. military quickly recognized the crossroads potential of Albuquerque and moved in. Albuquerque was a very convenient place uh, in transiting from the East Coast to the West Coast or vice versa. Uh, for military flyers to stop over, even though there was very rudimentary types of uh, airfield facilities here. Then came the tragic events of December 7, 1941. The United States was drawn into World War II and the need for training and development accelerated Kirtland's growth as a major hub for the Army Air Corps. Albuquerque was just one of eight facilities that were built around uh, New Mexico. Uh, perhaps the largest uh, and the longest lasting. As the secret city of Los Alamos developed, so did the need to train the next generation of pilots. Many of the crews that helmed the B-29 Superfortress bombers, the bombers responsible for delivering the first atomic weapons to Hiroshima and Nagasaki, train here at Kirtland. You know, Kirtland, because of being 75 years old this year, has had a lot of organizations come and go. Uh, today, we count somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 active organizations on the base, between small ones and large ones. Uh, the important mission sets here at Kirtland Air Force Base include uh, training uh, special operators, include research, development, testing, and nuclear enterprise acquisition and research. As Eric Froelich, commander of the 377th Air Base Wing, says, Kirtland has become an anchor institution for the Duke City. When I refer to Kirtland as an anchor institution, both for the community and, quite frankly, Kirtland is an anchor institution when it comes to research and development uh, across our nation. Um, it, uh, it provides a, an incredible economic impact and job opportunities uh, for the people in greater Albuquerque. According to AirForceTechnology.com, Kirtland employs more than 23,000 people, including active duty, guard and reserve employees, civil service, and contracted hires. In FY14, the economic impact of Kirtland uh, was $7.6 billion for the year. Now that includes contracts that are outside the state. About half of that uh, 7.6 billion actually remained in Greater Albuquerque through uh, job production and through small business contracts. And to celebrate Kirtland's continued success here in Albuquerque, they're hosting a series of events for the entire community. We're going to have a very exciting spring here at Kirtland. In May, uh, we'll have a uh, armed forces run, and uh, uh, that will be uh, primarily for the members of Kirtland Air Force Base to get out and get some exercise and celebrate the anniversary. And then from June 4th to 5th uh, is the big capstone event for the year, and that's our open house and air show. And we're really excited about that. It's the first time in five years that Kirtland has hosted a major air show. One we'll of the Thunderbirds come in uh, for a two-day uh, uh, show. Uh, we have uh, other aircraft coming in doing uh, static displays and flybys. Uh, vintage aircraft like Warbirds will be here. And we, uh, with our association now uh, under Global Strike Command, We'll have uh, current Air Force bombers and fighter aircraft here at Kirtland. With the successful history of the air base in Albuquerque, the future looks very bright indeed for Kirtland. Kirtland has 52,000 acres uh, of land space that we use uh, for research development and training. And uh, we have capacity uh, to uh, take on more mission sets that would have uh, linkages and uh, synergistic uh, effects with uh, the Air Force Research Lab, Sandia National Labs, uh, Space and Missile Center, and the uh, 58th and the 150th Special Operations Wing. So uh, the Air Force Nuclear Weapons Center is, a, is uh, the focal point for all nuclear acquisitions and logistics support uh, for the United States Air Force. And uh, there's opportunities to continue to grow those here at Kirtland. For more information on Kirtland Air Force Base's 75th anniversary celebration, head over to casa.com.